had to let your friends in on the other. I heard the war dance is about to be held in the mortal world. I remember watching a sword duel at the war dance with my sister when we were young. The Cloud Knight, who was the Luofu's ringmaster, was an amazing swordsman, and their sword flashed like lightning. The Outworld Challenger had fiery red hair and a hand made of steel, which roared like thunder. They battled for a long time before a winner could be declared. Time sure flies. Now, both my sister and I are residents of the Netherworld, and we will never again feel the thrill of a competition. Are there a lot of people in Starskiff Haven due to the war dance? Sounds amazing. It's a shame I'm too busy to attend. But even if I could, I'd probably just scare people off with my current appearance. <sighs> Let's get going then. Freezing. <laughs> this place is filled with the cold air from the northern peak of the polar dell. Even the toughest long life's... <clears throat> Did you hear something just now? Let me check it out. <sighs> what an eyesore. This place is packed with boxes and crates. These crates, they look oddly familiar. A few days ago, the spirit bearers received reports about an IPC transport ship that was attacked by Borison. Then, a bunch of those abominations were dumped into this place. I had a feeling there would be trouble during the war dance. At throwing both the pirates and the cargo in jail? <laughs> That's a new one. I heard the Intelligentsia Guild crafted something dangerous. We have many records in the Hall of Karma about these wise ones. They love to tinker with forbidden technologies. Always trying to push the limits of Ingenia. I caught a glimpse of the mechs in those crates, and they bear a striking resemblance to Borison. I wonder what they're planning this time. Well, business first. Let's keep moving. checking the containment facilities a second time. But 
How is this even possible? The spirit bearers follow the protocols, cutting off power to the mechs and sealing the crates. How could these mechs still start moving? It's just like what happened in the artisanship commission before. These goods went haywire and attacked everyone in sight. The Alchemy Commission members examined them and found some unusual structures within. These things showing up in the Shackling prison can only mean one thing. A prison break. And whoever delivered these goods clearly wanted them to go through the Xianzhou's strict inspection process to show the Skyfaring Commission and Cloud Knights how dangerous they were. They wanted these mechs to end up right here, in the Shackling prison. If these things already started taking action while nobody was paying attention, then the whole prison is in trouble, I'm afraid. And to make things worse, another group of visitors just entered the depths of the Shackling prison. The messengers from the Xianzhou Yaoqing, and the prisoner they came to visit, might be the target whom these wolf-shaped mechs were delivered here for. If that vicious beast manages to break free, it will be a catastrophe for the Xianzhou Lofu. Here we are. Have we arrived already, Your Honor? Shouldn't there be a cage here? The most notorious felons are locked away in solitary delves deep down in the prison. Those delves can't be opened without proper authorization. The blue bird. I've given you the diagrams for lighting the lanterns. Please take a look. Better to use your brain. to the bottom of the prison. Please, do not do anything reckless. Inside the delve, behind this door, is the greatest enemy of the Foxians, Hule. from the Yao Qing visit the Xianzhou La Fu once every century to check on this abomination's imprisonment and condition. Even though the Ten Lords Commission sentenced Hulei to the Forest of Swords, suffering every day for the rest of his life, I understand that the Yao Qing messengers want to see him dead. Unfortunately, for the past seven centuries, they've had to return disappointed, because this beast simply can't be killed. If we can use his toxin to create medicine and save an innocent life, it might help balance out some of the sins he's committed. Could you be the key to a cure for the general? Who lay? <laughs> and once again, the envoys of the Yao Qing will leave disappointed. However, I won't say the same for me and my brothers. Who's there? 
I'm just a humble counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. You can call me Mokhtar. Wardens, intruders on the lowest level. Send reinforcements. Nobody will keep you here. At the bottom of the shackling prison. Thank you for opening up the prison for us, you know. We'll take it from here. No wonder I kept smelling that familiar stench. So, it wasn't just my imagination. Do your thing, Morza. We mustn't let these abominations get any closer! Once we were inside, time to say bye. I weep for the departed. I suggest you surrender now. Of course, I'll still kill the need for this. I promise to be sweet. Let us between ourselves. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before the night? Just for a bit. I weep for the departed. Counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. I am only one insignificant heir spawned from your bloodline. It's been at least seven centuries since you led our pack through the hunting grounds of the stars. I'm thrilled to see that you are as cunning and skillful as ever. Seven centuries. Seven centuries have passed. But. Why have Doran's whelps grown to look like this? 
Tell me, Mothjot, why have you grown to assemble our most despicable slaves and enemies, the Boxians? I've been commanded to release you from this cursed prison. It is Senjaya's will. That's why I had to take a magic pill, don the skin of a lonely beast, play along with their hypocrisy. Since you have an escape plan, tell me, what's our next move to get off of this ridiculously large ship? My brothers and I will lock down this prison, trapping the prison guards inside. This will buy us some time. The rest of my crew, who are undercover like me, will secure the vessels for our escape. According to the plan, we only have a tight two-hour window to get out of here. Originally, I intended to carry out the plan tomorrow, but they're planning to transfer you to the Sienjo Yaoqing now. So I seized this opportunity to set you free. <sighs> what a reckless plan, you idiot. Even if we manage to get the ships, our chances of escaping are slimmer than a boxian slipping through my claws. But we have no other choice. The angel serving under the Master of Immortality sent me with a message. Only your return will end the prolonged divisions among the Borison. Every one of my crew is ready to lay down their lives if it means setting you free. <laughs> hmm. A sneaky weakling like you is actually showing some reckless bravery with this plan. Fine. You'll get what you want. And all of Duran's whelps will, too. Well then, my lord. We should leave now. Before we go... Give me one of those magic pills. My lord, do you seriously want to don the skin of a lonely beast? It would be a disgrace to your greatness, my lord. You idiot. Greatness means nothing without freedom. Once I get out, I'll need a disguise that won't raise any suspicion. As you wish, my lord. Mm. Is that Foxy slave my meal? No, he's an envoy from the Sienjo Yaoqing. I plead you to endure him a bit, my lord, as he's more valuable as a hostage. Take him, guys. Time to move out. <sighs> Regrouping. Those Ingenium enemies are wandering around and causing heavy casualties. And to make things worse, those Iron Wolves broke open the cages and let the criminals out. We've called for backup, but it seems like all communication is jammed. Let's preserve our strength and first take down the isolated prisoners. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Just a short time ago, the Nether Key mechanism was activated. It was probably Madame Shui and the Yao Qing messengers heading to the bottom of the prison. Given the situation, I'm afraid that area is exactly where our enemies are targeting. We mustn't let that vile beast escape from its cage. We've gathered all the prison guards who can still fight, and we'll split up and secure each floor. Go! Those intruders are quite bold. They must have been planning this for quite a while. Indeed. But Boris intend to favor direct and aggressive approaches. Crafting careful and precise plans like this is simply not their style. Let's focus on the current situation right now. Please help me. What's the fastest way to the bottom of this prison, Miss Hanya? If we don't get there quickly, We'll soon be outnumbered by all the enemies inside. We'll have to bend the rules. Please, follow me. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Yes, ma'am! position here. Yes, ma'am. We need a few tools if we want to reach the bottom quickly. 
follow me to the next floor. The path is cut off. Someone must have altered the mechanism. No matter. It'll just require a bit more work to get through. Occasionally use Ingenia from the Artisanship Commission to navigate the treacherous terrain here. Normally, using devices like the shifting screen is strictly forbidden, as they could help prisoners escape. But, given the urgency of the situation, let's just ignore the usual regulations. He has been activated. I hope we're not too late. Hang in there, sister. Like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. <sighs> the gate to the prison delve is wide open. Hule has managed to break free. Where are the Yaoqing messengers? And where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. He briefly sacrificed herself. My condolences, Miss Hanya. Condolences? Well, that's unnecessary. You misunderstand. Thanks to the Ten Lords' blessing, my sister turned into an Ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma's document office has become a routine for her. While I'm not keen on seeing her throw away her body like it's some replaceable part, but... By the way, have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoqing messengers? One of them is a Foxian wearing exquisite clothes, and the other wears a dark cloak, like a fugitive. No. I haven't found any Foxian bodies. Only Borison ones. So, the intruders and Hule are holding the Yaoqing messengers hostage. This is the worst situation. With hostages in their grasp, the prison guards can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between the Yaoqing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. We must rescue the messengers, get out of here, and spread the news. We mustn't give up as long as there's a glimmer of hope. What have you found, Miss Hanya? Hall of Karma yet. At such a critical moment, 
her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Let me see. The damage isn't too bad. If I can fix it up, my sister will have a temporary body. I should have at a time like this. Happy, tears of joy. <laughs> now is not the time for jokes. This Psycrane can't put hold hold of me. Sister, what did you see when you were? One of the Yaoching messengers escaped. Besides the Boris in invisible intruders? What does that even mean? How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. And now you're the only person, the only bird, who can slip out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I understand. Please be careful, sister. You are different from me. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If we keep delaying, those Borosin will escape from the prison. All right. If we happen to come across that Yaoqing messenger who got away... No. Stopping Hule should probably be our top priority.
another blood debt repaid. Prison management on the law foo is truly concerning. Hmm. Is that so? At least two different groups of intruders infiltrated here. The wolf cubs and these Mara-struck soldiers. Their hiding technique. It's pretty similar to the wind mantle technique used by the Vidyatara serving Kyloran Venti on the Yao Ching. What do you think? Well. Never mind if you don't have any clues. Now is not the time to exchange assassination techniques. I'm Waza. My friend fell into the clutches of that wolf. I was planning to escape and report back as quickly as possible. Now it seems. <sighs> Prison on the La Fu is a real maze. I must admit. Thank you for your help, Mr. Moza. We'll do our best to ensure your friend's safety. No. You can do nothing for him now. And you shouldn't be focusing on his safety at the moment. Your friend is in Hule's clutches, and you're just going to leave him behind? Look, I'm the Yao Ching General's guard, not his. I've seen how that giant wolf fights, and there's no way. Trying to save my friend will only get us killed. <sighs> I don't know how you think, but I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Listen up. I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know their next move. They're planning to seal off the entire prison to keep the outside world in the dark. The worst case scenario, we are all killed by that giant wolf, and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us or about their escape until it's too late. And the best case scenario... scenario would be we seal the gates and trap the enemy inside with us we can't let that monstrous wolf escape hopefully someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help as for whether we'll still be alive by then it's not something we should think about you should have a way of comforting people Mr. Woods. as a person of the Yao Ching, i've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to i have to make it out alive my companions are waiting for me. <laughs> As another world dweller, I've already died once. Yeah. We won't give up. Not until the very last moment. None of you are part of the Ten Lords Commission, so sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison. And if someone should step up to stop Hule from escaping, it should be me, not you. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison. And you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements. Now, let's proceed upward. Stream four. We must 
seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. Units are charging at the gate. Forget to let your friends in on the Hostage is useless now. Kill him, Montauk. He's getting away. Do something, Jacho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something. Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiaozhou? I recall, no one from the Outsheen would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Xiao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou. And my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lonely beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of... I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. Lord, his slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Bokchok. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, 
I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? But my... We must stay here for some time, Mark Talk. Fear not. Because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xianzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's whelps, follow me. Contact with the shackling prison. We received a message from a psychrain. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoqing messengers and the nameless? No news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the shackling prison as soon as possible. I see. You're dismissed. General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan. It's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Sienjo Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. The Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away. Once. Haven of memories, every touch, every moment. 